Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Tech Support and in today's video we'll be talking about how the flood is impacting the cropland built up area and how many populations are being affected. So in our previous video, if you haven't gone through the previous video, then we have calculated the flood extent, how much flood has occurred of how much area has been inundated so you can find the video in our youtube channel easy tech support so you can go through this flood impact assessment using sentinel 1 image or you can also figure out how sentinel 2 images in the linkedin map can be helpful when analyzing the flood so in today's video we'll be talking about how how much impact in terms of a cropland is getting inundated and how much built up area is getting inundated so that kind of analysis will be talked in this particular video so let's get started. So I will also be putting the codes in our website, Tech Guru Guides. So please check them out and try them out. So let's go through the code. So earlier we have already finished uh, calculating the flood extent. Now we'll be talking about the step five and we'll be doing the damage assessment, how this damage assessment is being done. So damage assessment is all about how much uh, earlier land cover, which may be a land, uh, which may be a agriculture or which may be a built up area that is being inundated and it is affecting certain community. So in our case, we are doing the damage assessment for Himachal Pradesh uh, due to flood that has occurred on 8 and 9 July. So first, while doing the damage assessment, we do refer to existing land cover. Yeah, you can also make your own land cover, but we are now referring to already available land cover maps. So we do have European Space Agency world cover. So you can search about the world cover, what that really means. Uh, well, uh, by typing here the world cover and you can find out and learn much more about the world cover version 200 so it's a european space agency world cover 10 meter resolution which is very good and uh, the uh, best thing about this is it is made with the help of the sentinel 1 the radar data and also the sentinel 2 data that is the visible bands the visible earth observations can be figured out in here so you can also know about the bands available here like this you can see if the value is 10 well, uh, using the inspection tools, if you click on certain pixels, then if that value is comes to 10, then it is going to refer to tree cover. Similarly, shrubland, grassland, cropland, built up area. So we are more interested in value of 40 and 50, as it includes the cropland or a built up area. So, so now we are selecting the world cover data, and here we are uh, we are limiting it to our area of interest or region of interest here. And we are also defining the dictionary, okay? On the basis of our land cover data, so I have also printed this, see, land cover in our console. So when you go to the land cover, here you can see, and when you see the features of properties here, so let me just go through the properties, okay? So here it is. The map class regions, map class names, uh, map class palettes, so you can figure out what each of these values ref refers to okay on the basis of the same i have defined the dictionary okay and also i have defined the color palette so on the basis of these values here you can see i have defined a dictionary that is having the names and a colors as a key and various values are is defined by this list okay so on the basis of the same first thing first i am uh, adding a layer of land cover type and whose minimum value is 10 and the maximum value is 100. As you can see here, that the minimum value uh, uh, that is representing the zero element, which is a tree cover or with the palette color 006400 hex color. So you can see that this is going to represent the tree. Okay, so I was talking about the inspector. This is the inspector. If I click here, then you can see the various values that are being uh, represented by this. So this is a map. A map object so here we can see the map of 10 so it is as you see it is representing the trees okay so on the basis of the same we are now adding the layer so you can see here the layer has been added here okay so this is the layer that is being added with the this code okay Okay, so we are now much more interested about how much crop land is being affected or exposed to the flood. So we first have to select the map values that is equal to 40. On the basis of the same, we are going to self mask it. If the value comes to be 40, then it is going to assign a new value 
on the basis of if that pixel values happens to be 14 then it is now going to be one or that is uh, that uh, the crop is represented by one value and the non crops is going to be represented by zero value so this is how the set mask is going to help us and here you can see that a cropland being affected we are now updating our mask as a cropland and the flooded area or the earlier flood pixels are being marked with the cropland and we are going to rename that as a crop and on the basis of the same i am now trying to see whether i will be having some value or not with this print console okay so here you can see that cropland being affected is having a value of a value okay so i'm just confirming it whether i'm i'm getting a, a valid result or not so after that i am going to add a layer that is representing the crop affected and minimum value is zero that is non crop line and maximum value is one that is a crop line and palette has been given to brown if it is going to be a brown pixels in this map then i will have an idea that it is it is the affected crops okay so i am also going to calculate the area on the basis of a image pixel so here uh, on the basis of a pixel area functions i am going to calculate the area of affected crops so with the help of a reduce region and ee dot reducer dot sum uh, so i am going to calculate the affected pixel area that is representing the crop that is going to be inundated during the flood so on the basis of the geometry uh, of region of interest that is our himachal pradesh and uh, as you know that the scale is 10 meter it is 10 meter resolution map so it is going to be 10 so i i can also set it between these two as i have already mentioned that the best effort is going to uh, process the result very fast and sooner so but uh, the limitation is uh, the result might be suffering some accuracy problem it is going to be less accurate actually so if i going to, if i am going to select the max pixel uh, max pixels value then then it is going to take some time but the result would be good okay so on the basis of uh, these data this crop statistics that i can now calculate the area how much area is being inundated uh, for the crops so here i am dividing it by 10000 for converting the meter square into hectares and rounding up the value and finally i am going to print that value okay so similarly i can do the same for the built up export and here the value for the built up would be equal to it need to be equal to 50 as we have already seen it from this type okay this feature and here you can see that the 50 is going to represent it this 50 which is the element 4 uh, actually it's fifth as you know uh, that the uh, convention of uh, uh, assigning the element so here the fourth value or that is in the fifth position it would be built up area so it is going to uh, select those pixels which are actually a built up area and on the basis of a, a same we are also going to update the mask for the flooded pixels that is representing the built up area so built up area is going to be assigned now one value and non built up would be assigned as zero value and on the basis of the same we are similarly going to calculate the area is uh, with the reducer dot sum and here we are printing the uh, uh, we are calculating the area and printing the value and similarly now we are uh, we want to also calculate uh, how much populations is being affected with the flood for the same we are using the jrc global human settlement population density layer which is the graded pixels for the populations so you can search for that here human settlement so this is the global human settlement layers settlement grid it is a settlement grid so we are uh, much more interested for the population grid so you can learn much more about this global human settlement layers population grid data here and what each of them represent okay so here we can see the population count number of people for sale so it is going to be a graded populations for the world and its resolution is 250 meters okay so on the basis of this data we are now again going to uh, mask okay we are also going to mask and also going to calculate the uh, calculate the statistics on the basis of e dot reducer dot sum like earlier and on the basis of the same we are going to calculate the statistics and here if you have noticed that the scale is 250 okay because the resolution is 250 okay so we are now here going to calculate the uh, calculate the number of populations that is being affected as you see the band uh, band chosen here is population count and uh, there is a we are now going to calculate the rounding of value and here we are printing the number of people exposed uh, by the flood 
So in this video, we learned how to do damage assessment. As you can see that everything is being displayed in this panel that how much cropland is being inundated due to the flood and how much built up area is being inundated by the flood and how much pop, um, how much population or people are being exposed to the flood. So this is all for this tutorial. Please stay tuned to our channel EasyTech Support. And in our next video, we'll talk about how to do these visualizations, how to transfer this uh, print that is being displayed in the print console to the map panel itself. So you can see the Himachal Pradesh flood. Uh, the title is being displayed here. The regional panel is being displayed here. The legend are also being displayed here. So we'll learn that in our next tutorial. So stay tuned and keep supporting EasyTech support. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.